Hello everyone, my name is Whitney Fenelon, and today we'll be cooking a healthy meal that will not only fill your belly, but also not hurt your pockets. And I'm joined here by a member of Flippany. Hi, my name is Vanessa. I am from Flippany, which is a nonprofit organization that promotes health and wellness in the Tri-County area. We do various programming from physical activity, cooking education, and that's why we're here today, to teach you basically that you can be healthy, but you don't need to break the bank in order to do so. Well, thank you so much. And what meal will we be preparing today? Well, we will be doing a quesadilla with sweet potatoes and black beans and a little um, cilantro, which we'll garnish on top as well. In terms of dairy, we have um, Greek yogurt as well as uh, low-fat or no-fat cheese. Great, perfect. And tell me a little bit about those sweet potatoes. How did you prepare them today? So virtually I just diced them up and then I boiled them, but for all those college students who do not have access to a stove, you can definitely just throw it into the microwave, which is the beauty of potatoes. And then um, you just could have a little skillet like this, and then um, it's virtually 10 to 20 minute meal. Great, and I noticed that this skillet is desktop, which is great because a lot of times you don't have space and such, so this is just a great asset to what we're going to be cooking today. For sure, for sure. So what do we start with first? So first, um, like I mentioned, these have been boiled beforehand, so what I'm going to do is just mash them up. I'm going to throw uh, the beans in it, and then a little bit of the cilantro, which I have chopped up here, and then we're throwing the tortilla on there, just uh, putting a little bit of the uh, mixture on top of it, uh, putting a little cheese, uh, put another tortilla on, and cook it. Sounds That's it. delicious. Let's get started. So um, we cooked these sweet potatoes beforehand, so um, for those college students that do not have access to a stovetop, you can definitely just uh, throw it into the microwave, which is the beauty of potatoes. So these have been boiled, so what we're going to do now is just throw them in. And then just mash them. Great. And tell me a, a little bit about the three colors on a plate. Absolutely. So this meal, we go by my plate, which um, has five food groups. Half of your plate is supposed to be veggies and fruit. But let's be honest, not <laughs> most of us have that, right? Exactly. So um, this, the beauty of this is we strive for at least three colors on the plate, right? So this, it's easily done. So um, this right here is sweet potatoes, which has high vitamin A. Mm -hmm. um, right here, we're going to throw these black beans. What's important with black beans that they did come in a can, but um, all you have to do is wash them off because often canned foods do have salt or whatever they're preserved in. So just make sure that you rinse them off. So now we are going to add the beans. Already looking colorful. Right, very easy. Um, so we're just going to mix that up. And how many food demonstrations do you do? Well. Um, in terms of, we do various things. So we have, um, it's called Cooking Matters. So we do a cooking course where we promote um, health to families on a budget, right? So we empower families, allowing them to cook healthy meals, but you don't have to break the bank in order to do so. So this right here is taco seasoning, just for a little flavor, right? So we're gonna just sprinkle a little flavor on but make sure not too much. Um, it says one tablespoon, so I'm just gonna add a little bit, I love it. just just for flavor. So I'll mix that up in there. Because you didn't add anything to the sweet potatoes, you no, just boiled them plain. Just boiled them plain, absolutely. So in terms of um, salt intake, we do still have to watch our salt intake. So that's that. So now we have here the cilantro. So we're just going to chop up the cilantro. I know you guys can't smell it, but it's very fragrant over here. Yes, especially cilantro. It's very potent, for sure. So we're just going to chop up the cilantro a little bit. So we'll use this to garnish, also to impress your friends for on top. You could use a little, that's why we have um, some Greek yogurt in order to just sprinkle that on top. Also, so we have a little dairy in the mm -hmm. meal in terms of food groups. Uh, the reason that we say at least uh, three food groups is because you can't get all the nutrients from just one food group, right? So that's why um, variety is the spice of life. So, yes. And how many, I guess, per serving are we going to be making today? 
So this technically, um, we have these food cards right here. Um, this technically has eight servings, but so, and as you see, it's only one sweet potato, one can of black beans, and then um, we have these uh, whole wheat tortillas, which is important when you're buying any grains that it is whole wheat, right? Because, um, and the first ingredient on the ingredient list needs to say whole wheat because it actually satiates you and it actually has the whole grain. So it has all the nutrients still in it. So that's what's important in terms of grains. So we're going to turn this on. Let that heat up a little bit. Okay. We're going to also add a little olive oil, um, which is important. Uh, people have a stigma against fats, but your body does need fats. It's just nourishing your body with the right fats, right? So, of course, everyone hears the omega-3s and omega-6s. This is an omega-3, so you do want fats in your diet. But, like I said, um, it's the right fats. So something like olive oil mm -hmm. is perfect to add to your diet. So we're just going to let that heat up a little bit. Perfect. So we're going to mix this up. And yeah, I see that you save some for the garnish later. Absolutely. So this was just a whole bunch, mm -hmm. like a whole bundle. But um, in terms of this recipe, not much is needed, mm -hmm. right? So we're just going to throw the tortilla on here, cook it up a little bit. It's already sizzling. It's already sizzling. So now we're going to just lather a little bit of this mixture on top of oops, on top of the tortilla. Just smooth it around. You smell that? It's very, very potent, right? It smells really, really nice. You smell the natural olive oil itself. Yes. Absolutely. So now we are going to to sprinkle a little bit of the cheese. And like I mentioned, in terms of dairy, what we advocate is low fat or no fat because um, cheese, it does often have a lot of fat in it and that is easy to add up. So that's why low fat and no fat cheese. So we're just going to garnish a little bit of cheese on top. Amazing. And how much do you, um, I guess, estimate that this meal cost? This, everything here costed $13. Oh, great. So it's um, very, very budget friendly. And that's in terms of um, if you find us on Facebook and Instagram, we have various recipes. Just like us on Facebook, um, we do have various, various budget friendly recipes. Great. Nice golden brown color. Looks amazing. Yes. So we're just going to let this toast a little bit, and presto, <laughs> meal is done. So then we're just going to garnish it a little bit on top, and then we have your meal. Also, what you can serve it with is tomatoes, so if you want to get a little more veggies in your diet. So um, in terms of a balanced diet, as I mentioned before, half of your plate should be uh, fruits and vegetables. And then we have Greek yogurt here. Greek yogurt is... Uh, this one right here is um, non-fat, so um, as I mentioned, we strive for uh, low-fat or no-fat. So we're just going to check this, see if it's golden brown on the bottom, almost. Perfect, so now it is done. That You cook it maybe three minutes, just until it's golden brown on each side. Um, so I'm just going to throw it over here, just chop it up, split it, cut it up. Looks amazing, everyone toasty. And like I said, um, this has uh, at least three fruit groups, it has at least three colors, and it is budget friendly yes. as you asked. So $13 is not too shabby. Absolutely not. And um, with this meal, you could have eight servings, so you could make various other ones. You could just throw a little Greek yogurt on top. Also, you could, um, as I mentioned, have a little um, tomatoes just for more, more flavor. And there you go, 10 minute meal. It's amazing.
Thank you so much for visiting us today. Vanessa, and how can we reach Flippany or more recipes like this? Thank you so much for having us. You could find us everywhere on social media, like us on Facebook, Instagram. Definitely um, visit us because we have various healthy recipes. Thank you so much. Thank you.